Okay, so Lizzo came out with a song called Girls. Um, I've never been a huge Lizzo fan myself. What, what we're looking at here is that she was canceled for saying the word spaz. And why was she canceled? Um, I didn't even know spaz was the new slur today. Um, apparently I'm going to get canceled now because I said spaz. Um, oh well, I guess I'll just have to move on. And you know why I can say spaz? Because it's not a slur. Spaz has always meant crazy, and that's what it's always meant. Um, it's literally a replaceable word. It's not like actual slurs that are, you know, we call people those in a degrading way. No, spa um, I've called people spastic spaz. Um, I had a friend at Boy Scout camp. He was a counselor, and his name was Spaz. That was his name. Um, we always gave each other nicknames. Mine was Bubble Guppy. Anyways, I've gone off topic. So, she got canceled, and Trevor Noah put this video on TikTok with a pretty good explanation of it. I don't like Trevor Noah. I always think he's just a little weenie, but uh, he actually... I can admit when somebody actually talks good, so, um, yeah, here. Did you see what happened with Lizzo? So for those of you who don't know, Lizzo has a, a, a new song out, Girls. Um, it's a really fun song, it's really popular, it's on all the charts and everything, and in- I, I, I've never heard the song, so I, I can't really attest to the fact that it's good or not, um, but if it if it's anything like Lizzo's typical music, it's it's probably bad, but- I'll still hear it at the beach and want to die and get my eyes plucked out by seagulls every time I hear it. In, in the song, Lizzo has one of her lyrics where she says, spaz, like we're gonna spaz out, you know, which uh, Americans commonly know as means like go crazy, have fun, throw party, whatever. You can use it in, in like multiple different ways, fun ways. Um, what was interesting was that, that somebody uh, tweeted to Lizzo and they said to her, hey, uh, just so you know, um, spaz is a word that is used specifically, uh, you know, it's a derogatory term used to describe people who have uh, disabilities. No, it's not. It's, it's literally not. It, literally. Okay, growing up, there were words I didn't know were slurs that I learned later on. Spaz is not one of them. And don't let people try to convince you that a word that we've always used, a word that is common knowledge in everybody's everyday vocabulary, that all of a sudden, just because people want to feel like they're oppressed, to say that spaz is a slur. That just makes no sense. Spastic has been in everyone's vocabulary, as Trevor Noah just said. It's always like, go crazy, go stupid, or whatever. That's like saying idiot is a slur. If anything, idiot is more derogatory than the word spaz. Like, the idiot is always going to be condescending. Spaz can be used in different ways. Oh my gosh. And they use that commonly in like the UK and Australia, you know? And they were like, oh yeah, this is, this is you know, how I, how I feel about this. And, and then Lizzo, which is really gracious, Lizzo has, has changed the lyric of the song. So she went back, changed the lyric, and she was Crazy. like, yeah, I didn't mean to do that. So I'll, I'll change the lyric. Very gracious of her, you know? Yeah. But what was weird is that the story didn't end there. That's the weird. She changed the, the, the lyric, which is just an overcorrection, bro. Lizzo had no need to do that. She didn't need to do that. She did it because she offended a few soft people from Australia, apparently. I'm not convinced these people aren't bots, but it should end there. Hopefully she didn't receive hate from other that. She didn't she didn't deserve hate in the first place cuz I mean, gosh, I can't believe that we allow people to make music um, you know, some people the rappers will make songs about literally unaliving people and yet they won't get canceled. Lizzo says the word spaz and everybody all of a sudden everybody's hopping all over her. Like I'm not the biggest Lizzo fan, but that's just ridiculous. Weird thing. What happened since then is people have been piling on Lizzo, shitting on her from the highest heights. Like people being like, I'm still disappointed in you, Lizzo. This was disgusting from you and I'm, you've lost a fan. And I don't care that you have changed it. What matters is you said it in the first place. And People are canceling Lizzo for saying the word spaz and they didn't know the word spaz was offensive about two minutes ago. But now they want to pile on the hate because 
it's common to pile hate on Lizzo for no reason, just because she is pretty outspoken, she is very loud in the way that she presents herself, but what what is the point? I mean, I can understand Lizzo hate from some angles, because sure, she's annoying sometimes, but to give her actual hate, bro, like to be actually malicious in the way that you're talking about her to try to ruin her, I mean, come on, like what has she actually done wrong other than, you know, what? Actually, what? What did, what, did, what did she freaking do? You know, for you to use ableist language to offend somebody, you hurt people's feelings. And I was like, okay, like, look, can, can, we just, can we just pause for a second? I know people on the internet like to engage in conversations that aren't discussions, but really are just like mobs that pile on somebody for not knowing everything about everywhere all at once. But can we, can we acknowledge that Lizzo basically did exactly what society has been asking people to do? Right? She stepped in, she said, oh, this is not what I intended, and so I'm going to change this for you, which is extremely gracious. I will change it for you, not for me, but for you. Because black people in America have been using spaz completely innocuously as a different word. And then I understand that in another country... Everybody in America has been using spaz, I don't know what yeah. But anyway, you know. They use another word, and it means something else. Someone finds it offensive, I get, but that happens all the time. You know, in the UK, they use it for cigarettes. Oh, good luck getting used to that when you're there. <laughs> they just walk around, people are like, oh, can I bum a fat? Whoa, 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 whoa. What's happening here? What's happening here? All right, but that's, they're like, no, that's, it, that's not what we mean. And you, you understand that. I, I feel like we're living in a world where people have gotten so used to, to you know, parading as the, the most virtuous or, or as, the, as, the, as the, you know, just like the most righteous person that they've gone to a point where they make it seem like language has no nuance, language has no context, which is even more important. And then they wanna imply that there is some sort of intention on people even when there isn't, right? Of all the people you can come for, all the people, Lizzo is one of the most inclusive, just like, a, like aware, just like loving. She's always trying to bring people into the conversation in her music videos, in her music, in her life. You're gonna shit on her? For making I really think people are just hating on Lizzo because she's annoying. Like, I'll concede that. Like, Lizzo's annoying. She annoys me. But, like, yeah, all that stuff ain't deserved. And, like, I can personally be annoyed with Lizzo, but if you're like, if you're like, do you hate Lizzo? I'll be like, well, no, I just think she's annoying. Like, I would never, I would never freaking contribute to the, to the Lizzo hate. I'll just be like, yeah, she's annoying and I think her music's crappy. Oh, well, I'm literally one person. She's rich, I'm not. Congratulations, good for her. King, not even a mistake, <laughs> you know? I don't even call that a mistake. It's just not knowing how everyone uses every word in every country all the time. I don't call that a mistake. You know, in South Africa, we have, we, we have a word that we say for those kinds of things. It's really simple. We say, Esan. And Esan just basically means like, oh. <laughs> it's like, yeah, the thing, you weren't wrong, I wasn't wrong, Esan. Like, it, like something happened that wasn't great, but nobody's almost like to blame for the thing. And so you can have a conversation about it. I don't know what happened. Do we no longer live in a world where someone can say, hey, actually, you know where I'm from? This means that. Oh, I didn't. No, we live in a society where we can't have a conversation anymore because everybody's scared to because they're afraid that they're going to get canceled. This is the result of the Twitter haters and the Twitter whatevers, uh, the NPCs coming, coming for you. Um, no, we, we can no longer have a conversation anymore because people have made us scared to do it. And you know exactly what kind of people I'm talking about. It's, uh, they're not spazzes. They're soft or as, as the boys, the boys, the cringy boys call them, the snowflakes. I didn't know that. Now that I do, I, I, I'm not going to say it because I'm not trying to do that. Lizzo can't get in a time machine. You know, people are like, she shouldn't have said it in the first place. Yeah, she said it. And she changed it. Now, you, what do you want her to do? I want her, what, to go back in time? And then change her knowledge of, the, what, what do you want her to do? Why are you still piling in? And what was interesting is, I find, I find this so interesting how you have these circles of people who claim to be woke or claim to be whatever, but then they use this as an opportunity to pile on Lizzo now. You know, now they come in there and then they're just like, oh yeah, as a fat woman, oh yeah, how would you like it if I said you're a fat N-word? Well, then I'm like, well, that's a, well, that's just completely different, isn't it? I mean, if you call Lizzo a fat, you know, I mean, that's just completely different because it's actually a slur and spaz isn't. That's what I'm trying to freaking say. Wait, 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 where's this coming from? 
So you're using that as an opportunity to just let your misogynoir out. That's what you're doing. You, you've seen an opportunity for you to be shitty to this, this black woman, and now you're like, yeah, I can get her. Be like, no, I'm doing that to defend the disabled community. No, you're not. You're not. You know what I mean? Don't, don't bring in. There's nobody more hateful, less inclusive, and, and more evil than the so-called tolerant woke mob that is a pretty big chunk of the left community uh, and, and don't use this as an opportunity to say oh this is this is a curly daddy republican moment here no 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 because there's just as many people on the right that do that crap but in this situation i think it's both sides piling on lizzo and being absolute crappy evil human beings because they're not loved at home so they have to hate other people you know you can just say to lizzo hey this was this and that's, you should be careful, and that's it. But don't use it as an opportunity for your shittiness and to try and cloud it in something else, you know? It's like this weird pylon, 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 pylon thing that happens. Words and the context matter. I, I, I really don't think it's healthy for us to be living in a world where people can say or do a thing that they don't know is a bad thing, and then we treat them as if they did know that it is a bad thing. You know, there's words that change all over the world. And I'm, I'm not giving blankets. I know some, someone's going to be like, whoa, so what are you saying, Trevor? I can say the N-word and, and it's because I didn't know. The N-word never meant anything else. No one's ever used it another way. You know? <laughs> it's like back in the day, there was like some country where they're like, oh, I that's not a thing. Oh my gosh. So I'm not saying that. The context of words matters. The nuance matters. If you're going to live in a world where people chew you up for trying and chew you up for apologizing and being accountable, even when, in my opinion, Lizzo might be like, I made a mistake. I don't think she did, but I think what she did on top of that was really gracious. She said, you know what? I, you know, she came out and said, I, I wasn't trying to do this, but I'm going to try and make your life a little better. I'm going to try and, and you know, put a bit of balm on this, on this hurt that you have. You know, I think that's amazing. And the people are still going to pile on her. <laughs> out of here, man. I mean, well said, well said. Don't usually really like the guy, but well said there. Um, yeah, dude. Lizzo, why, why are we piling on her, bro? Like, shoot, that's so stupid. So in honor of absolutely, be, this is my first defense of Lizzo. I've Potters, ever done. dude, I'm 17, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm dead, thank you for the sub, dude. In honor of Lizzo, I'll do the dance. In a minute, I'm gonna need a sentimental middle woman to pump me up.